The UOT thermal simulations on the CAT files states here. CAT thermal UOT and local global transient. It works based on the CPU and the GPU. To perform these, you need first to perform optical and pre-thermal analysis. To perform optical and pre-thermal analysis, you need first to create the kinematic file, either on the analytical or on the CAD files. We use the CAD files and the kinematic that we generated before. And we set the boundary conditions at the UOT initializations. To begin with, we choose the optical analysis. We select the file that we would like to perform the uh, optical analysis. We select it and click on open. Uh, here we could perform uh, with the laser divergence or without the laser divergence and we could then calculate, click on it. It takes a couple of seconds depending on the number of the rays and number of the steps. And when it's done, you can go to the next step which is the pre-thermal UOT. Uh, the same procedure, click on the directory that you just uh, created the optical analysis and click on the optical UOT. And when the calculate button changed to pre-thermal, click on it. It takes also a couple of seconds. All of the distribution of the nodes will be uh, distributed to the mesh parts. And now uh, you made the optical and pre-thermal. Now it's time to perform the uh, the UOT cat, which is here. But before that, you should uh, set the boundary conditions, which is UOT initializations. Here we set it as uh, three uh, two links and uh, one tapes. And we have, uh, for example, they could put the three uh, number of the repetition of the uh, layers here. And there would be a 10 layer, a 10 uh, delay seconds between the layers. So um, I initialized uh, the mesh part and I set the material uh, for each object via here. You could also change the boundary conditions and the thermal resistance between the layers uh, for the iridation or consolidations stage. And when you are done, uh, you could click on OK. And set the name, um, test1. And when you set the name, the uh, folder will be created. The, when you perform the simulations. So uh, now you go to the CAT thermal, you click on the this one. If you like to uh, generate animations during the analysis, you could also go to uh, processing a steady and thermal uh, transient analysis. Here, um, if you select uh, on the video output, uh, the the animations will be generated during the simulation. So at the end, you could uh, observe the animations of the whole procedure. Here, I cancel it and go back to the analysis. I click on it. They ask me if you I would like to perform this analysis, and uh, they ask the uh, select the optical analysis folder. It should contain the pre-thermal analysis. So I go again under uh, this example here, which is here. Um, I click on it and open it. Now it is written uh, LG or local global UOT thermal mode is ready for transient analysis. Press calculate.
So uh, if you press calculate, the simulation starts. You see the couple of windows will show up, which represent the starting of the simulations. You could see the progress of the simulations at the, this window, which is the global overview of the simulations and the layup. You could use Shift and H hold the simulations and use the keyboard arrow to rotate the scene if you press on the mode button again on the scene on this figure uh, the simulation resume at this picture the uh, 21, figure 21, you see the temperature of the tape only. But here at the figure 7, you see the temperature of the uh, substrate and the tape along the lens and along the knee point. This is the temperature contour of the tape, uh, incoming tape. Uh, this is the intensive distributions. This is the global temperature of the uh, tape one. H is placed, which is on the progress. This is the uh, consolidation uh, segment, which is under the roller. So this is the um, Valerian uh, framework. We have also the local irradiation zone, which is here. You see, this area is heated. And this is the, uh, this is the control volume of the um, two links uh, and the tape on top of each other. And during the simulation, you see also the progress here. And this animation, which shows that uh, software is calculating uh, the outputs. This is the conditions of the tooling. For each tooling, we have a separate uh, figure and the assembly of the layers and objects are represented on, on this picture that you see the progress of the, of the whole setup here that the new layers placed on the previous layers like that. And this uh, black uh, line is a representative of the roller location position that it's moving toward that. Please note that uh, all of the calculation regarding the optical was uh, previously calculated. So uh, we use the pre-analyze the optical output here on the UOT. Uh, in the COT method, um, both uh, optical um, method and the thermal parts will be calculated simultaneously and it's suitable for a complex uh, layup uh, simulations. So when the, uh, when the simulation is done, uh, you could observe the output 
uh, and the temperatures between the layers and uh, other parameters like a crystallinity in the bottom AFP viewer. So for now, we leave the calculations and we have a look at the result in another video uh, based on the uh, bottom AFP viewer.